Hey everyone and welcome back to a tutorial session with me, Candy or Candice. Now if you don't know much about me, hello, hi. This is the place where I like to take you guys on my art adventures when I'm not working full time in the animation industry and today I wanted to show you the world of Calligrapher because a lot of people have been asking me about this because I ended up putting up a shorts slash TikTok slash reel on all the different platforms and a lot of people had a lot of different questions about this app that I, or program I should say that I decided I would make a video on this. That being said, I will say that you have to use the website. A lot of people were asking me, one, what is this? What's it called? Is there an app? That kind of stuff for your tablet and that there is not. It's called Calligrapher and I absolutely love it. It's been a blast to use and I hope you guys learn a lot from this tutorial. First off, I wanted to show you guys what the website looks like. So if you hit calligrapher, this is what you get. Let me move this over so you guys can see it. I have paid the extra so that I can have it, all of the letters and symbols. If you don't feel that you will use the letters and symbols, then you can use the paid or the free plan. But again, I'm using the paid plan. It's $8 Canadian a month. You can subscribe for a month you can subscribe for however long i would suggest use the free version first see what you think if it's something that you would like to pursue further then i would suggest getting the paid version so here's my current plan i've got the pro plan i get the 12 fonts 480 characters or languages per font and then 18 various or versions per characters or languages from here all you need to do is go to create template you can decide what you want here if you want all the letters maybe you don't want this you can just hit delete uh, but i decided i wanted all of the english letters uppercase and lowercase and all of the different little um annotations to go with it and then from here all you have to say is download template i decided I, that i would do this on my ipad you can also print this off then scan it and then re-upload it but i'm just going to do it on my tablet just because i find it the easiest and the quickest and i will show you that now so you want to download the template add it into your program that you're going to be using it in i'm using procreate However you want to do this is totally fine. If you have an iPad or a Surface, whatever, it will all work the same. You can use Photoshop, however you want to do this, but this is just the way I'm going to do it. So I will meet you guys back in a second. Here is what the template looks like. You can also determine if you want the little images underneath or not. It's totally up to you. You can remove all you know all this other kind of stuff you can download template and this is where you have the ability to add in draw uh, help lines or not as well as the size of the template i would suggest playing around with the size and see what works best for you i wanted everything to be on one page so i made sure that everything is I just played around with the slider until everything showed up on one page. But again, that's totally up to you if you need it bigger or smaller, whatever works. And then you just hit download from there. All right, so I have brought in the template into my Procreate. And what you want to do from here is make a new layer. And the cool thing about this is you can always keep this and then keep coming back to it and play around with fonts constantly. So that's the really cool thing about using this. Once you've created a new layer, you're going to want to pick a brush. When you pick a brush, you want to make sure that it is a smooth brush. I would suggest either if you are using Procreate, I would say go into the calligraphy settings and choose something that works here. I'm going to be using an imported smooth monoline brush. And the reason why I'm going to be using it is because um, it's, it's just a nicer brush for me personally to use. I want some big chunky letters this time because lately when I've been doing this, it's not been chunky and I want something that has a little bit more of a bold statement to it. I think this is a little too big, 
So just keep playing around with it until you're happy with the line thickness. All right, I think I'm happy with this. Then zoom in as much as you need and all you're gonna do is follow the guide if you want it. You can also play around with how things show up. So what I mean by that, let's go to the letters. Let me go to the lowercase. So you see how everything here is on a parallel line like this. What you can do to vary it, I can do a big chunky letter there, but then go a little bit higher here. And then the same height here. And then maybe go a little bit higher here. In doing that, what will happen is your letters will show up one lower, one higher, one lower, one higher when you write out the word. And it could give a really nice look to it, but it, it depends on what it is that you're going for. So that is too low. Let's move this a little bit higher. Let's scale this down a smidge. And this is always something you can go back in later and adjust the letters. So I'm going to say go in, have some fun, play around with how all of this looks. And I will meet you guys back in a second once I have all of my letters figured out. All right. So here are all the letters. And as long as you keep it within the box, you are good. From here, we're going to export it and then bring it into Calligrapher. So all we're going to do is hit the wrench, hit share. I am going to export this. At this point, you should be back in the Calligrapher website. From here, which is where we left it, you want to go to my fonts and you want to upload a template and you want to choose a file and using a JPEG is perfectly fine. I just saved it into my downloads, so I'm going to grab that now. Here it is. Upload template. You also want to make sure if you have used this before, you want to hit overwrite existing characters and hit add. Here are all of our characters, which is super awesome. And now we want to build font. You want to name it whatever and hit build. Here, what everything will look like. And you can preview the font size by scrolling here. And you can also do size comparison to see what yours looks like compared to other fonts. What you can do if things, let's say you didn't like the spacing of all of this, you can go into edit font details and this is where you would adjust the font size. So maybe we can bring this down a little bit more and then you can letter spacing and then word spacing. You can either make this a little bit more or a little bit less. We can hit save. And then from here you can hit build font again you're going to have to rename it again and then you can hit build so that you can see what your font looks like. And here is what it looks like. If you're happy with how this looks, all you need to do is download your font files and whichever one you need. I just need the TTF file, so I'm just going to save that. Then I can just click on it. It's going to show up here. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to hit install. And now it should be installed in my Photoshop. But I also like to add these fonts into my iPad in my Procreate app. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. From downloading this file, you're going to want to either airdrop it or email it to yourself because I'm on a PC. And so get to that stage and then I'm going to walk you through how to manage this in your Procreate. But also I wanted to show you guys 
Here's our font, and now let's test this out. Look at how neat that looks! I really like the wobbliness to it and the up and down. Oh goodness, it looks so cute. Another thing I am going to suggest testing out on your end is when you actually upload a font. So let's upload a font again. It says automatically clean the template. Let's actually try not and see what happens. Again, I'm just downloading it. Then all you need to do if you're on a PC is just click on it once it's downloaded and hit install. Now let's test out the new font and see what we think of the difference between the two. Honestly, I don't really see a difference, but it's worth testing it out. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's bring it back on to our Procreate app. Here is my file and it's already registered to Procreate. As you can see, it has like the little Procreate image. I'm just gonna tap on it and I'm going to say save file or you know what? I'm going to try bringing it right into Procreate. There we go, it's imported. Now let's do a test. If you want to add text to Procreate, you just need to go into the little wrench, hit add, add text. Once you're done writing the text, you just need to highlight it. And then here is where you can adjust everything at the top here. We're going to change the font. So if we double click, if we just click on the font, you can click on it and then you have the chance here to change all of the different text. Let me move this over so you guys can see it. There is all the different fonts that you have at your fingertips. We're going to hit the super candy super and then you can change the style here. We can change with opacity, baseline and all of these neat little things that you can adjust if you want. If you're done, you can hit done. You can also import a font right here. As you can see, it says import at the very top above design. There we can hit done. And here is where you can see how everything has been adjusted. I think I might go back and adjust the T and the I because as you can see it's been cut off. So I have these, have the T and the I a little close to the top, but it is good to note the, you know, learning different things as you go because I've never actually run into this problem since this is the first time I've ever tried to use a font do like this up and down motion to it. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. I would love to know in the description box below how many fonts you've made if you have in the past or if this inspires you to make a font. I gotta say when I first started with my business for about a year I didn't really care about making a font and then something just clicked a couple of months back and I thought to really personalize my art that I thought it was a really good idea to do this. So I hope you guys play around with this, have some fun. I gotta say it was definitely a fun experience and there's always something to learn from making a new font. So I hope you guys liked this a lot. If you got this far in the video, type in text in the, in the comment section below and I will see you guys on 